Ready to see your soulmate letter? One, two... <gasps> what? Cover it up. Does the letter F stand for something that I don't know? Never mind about your letter. We'll just cover it so no one can see it. It's fine. But mom... Don't argue with me on this one. Here, wear this glove for the ball tonight. But if I wear this glove, how is my soulmate ever supposed to find me? He won't. But that's not fair. Why won't you just tell me what's wrong with this letter? Enough questions and complaining. I'm the queen and what I say goes. Now if I see you take that glove off one time tonight, you will regret it. Care to dance, princess? I don't really feel like dancing. Oh, come on, princess. It's a beautiful night. All you gotta do is take my hand. Ow! My glove's on fire. Whoa, uh, hang on. I got- No, no, wait! That was weird. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Hey, is that your soulmate letter? Because I think I- No, please don't look at that. But, princess, I- Aspen, where is your glove? Aspen, you're supposed to be wearing your glove. I... It was my fault. Did you burn her glove? It was an accident. You are to never see this boy again. Gods, take her to her room. Yes, your majesty. Here, I got you a new one. What is with all the secrets? What is wrong with this letter? And why couldn't I talk to that guy? Cover that mark, I don't want to look at it. There are some secrets that are meant to be kept. You obviously don't understand that. Oh, and you're grounded for not listening to me. She's still treating me like I'm five years old. This whole thing about my letter is ridiculous. Did I do that? I think I did, but how do I make it stop? Do I have powers? I brought you food, princess. And I brought the soulmate handbook. Don't let the queen see you reading it. I won't. Thank you. F stands for fire, which is the power the male soulmate will possess. <laughs> My glove's on fire. Wait, so he has fire powers and I have ice? Aspen. You've been locked in your room for a while. I just wanted to check on you. Your hand is freezing. Really? I didn't even notice. Mm-hmm. Well, has anything strange happened to you today? No. But actually, Mom, I'm pretty tired, so I'm gonna... Yes, by all means, get your rest. Keep a close eye on her, please. Yes, Your Majesty. Mom? Princess. <gasps> Shh, hey, it's okay. You know me. I'm the guy from the ball. How did you get onto my balcony? This is gonna sound crazy, but I used my fire powers to fly up here, and I think you and I are... Soulmates. I know. I read the soulmate handbook, and this F apparently stands for fire, which are your powers, but the only problem is, I think I have ice powers. Whoa, you're kidding. Well, you know what they say. Opposites, Opposites attract. I say we kiss and see what happens. Wait. We should kiss and see what happens. Uh, wait. What's wrong? I don't know. All of a sudden I just started to not feel good. I know why. Mom? Mm-hmm. How long have you been listening in? Long enough to know your powers have come in. You knew? Why didn't you ever tell me? Because your powers mean you and your soulmate can never be together. You're lying. I am telling the truth. If you kiss him, you will die. No, we're supposed to be together. See? Fire and ice don't mix. Get rid of him. No! <laughs> Wait! Let's go, princess. Stop fighting me. There. Those gloves will not be coming off. Princess? Go away. No, please wait. I want to help you. I know how to get those special gloves off. Let me see your hands. Aspen, I escaped. What are you doing? Proving to you that you and I can be together. Your Highness, I'm not so sure that was a good idea. She's fine. Right, Aspen? Princess? No. Please, Aspen, don't do this to me. I think your powers were too strong for her. She still has a pulse. There has to be something I can do to save her. True love's kiss. It could awaken her. But you'd have to give up your powers. If it means saving her, I'll do it. If you drink this potion, your fire powers will be gone forever. Please work. Princess! Princess! I can't believe you sacrificed your powers for me. Aspen, you're more important to me than any of my powers could be. Aspen, I was wrong. I had no idea your soulmate was so selfless. Please forgive me. Okay, Mom, I forgive you, but you have to promise me no more secrets. Yes, I promise you. Hey, our soulmate letters are gone. I wonder what that means. The itsy bitsy spider... Stop! Where did you learn to sing? I don't know, I just saw it on the TV. Honey, you must remember, singing is deadly. The TV is trying to trick you. You must never sing again. Okay, I won't. Going to class? Yeah. 
And you think you can go without wearing earplugs? Come on. Do I have to wear them? Yes. You never know when someone could start singing. These are lifesavers. Hey, take those out of your ears. Yeah, take them out. My mom says I'm not supposed to take these off. Can I just try them on? Yeah, for a second. Thank you. Yeah, these are trash. Hey! Oh, relax. You'll be fine without them. Bria, I need to see you after class, please. Miss Claremont, if this is about my grade, I... No, dear. This isn't about your grade. What are you doing? Mary had a little Miss Claremont, lamb, please stop singing. Little lamb, little lamb, Mary... Little stop. lamb... Stop! Mary had a little... Oh my gosh, what did you do to Miss Claremont? She was trying to kill me. What? What? She would never do that. I am calling the police. Honey, what's the matter? It was awful. Someone took my earplugs and then my teacher tried to kill me. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? rock a -bye, baby Why are you singing? Hush, little baby. Mama's gonna buy you a mocking. <gasps> Honey? Are you okay? I'm- I'm so sorry. Why would you do that? I- I don't know. It was like something was controlling me. Bria? No, no, stop. Stay with me. Bria, wake up. Honey, please wake up. Mom? I'm here. I'm here. Oh, my ears, they hurt. Uh, so bad. It's gonna be okay. Let me just look. I see something. What? There is something in your ear. I'm gonna take it out. No, no, don't. Bria, I have to. It's probably what's causing you the pain. Don't move. Is it out? I got it. This is what was inside of your ear. I think there's one in my ear, too. You need to take it out. Fine, just come here. Oh, I got it. <sighs> Thank goodness. I need to test something. Put those on and sing. No, Mom, I don't want to hurt you. It's okay, honey. Sing. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun. Are you okay? I'm fine. It was the chip killing people all along. But who would have put it in all of our ears? Open up. I'm gonna need both of you to come with me. No thanks. <gasps> Mom, did you just kill him? No, he's still alive. We need to question him. Go get the duct tape. There. He's not going anywhere. Ugh. Hey, what are you guys doing? We want to know who you work for and why we found this inside of our ears. Show him. I... I don't know what you're talking about. If you won't talk, we'll sing. Wait, Mom, we can't do that. Yes, we can, honey. We don't have the chips in our ears anymore. It won't hurt us, but it'll hurt him. Just keep your eyes closed. No, hey, wait a minute. Are you... are you... Coming into the tree Where dead men called out For his love to flee Strange Oh, Wait, stop, I'll tell you I work for a secret government organization We put chips in everyone's ears and wipe their memories of it By making singing lethal It was a way for us to control the public This is horrible We have to tell everyone Go ahead, honey, we're live We have all been lied to The government has been putting these in our ears That's why singing kills us But if you take them out Singing will no longer kill anyone, and we can be free. We did it, Bria. We're all saved. <gasps> no! What's wrong, Holly? My soulmate, Jared, he's 80% nice and 20% naughty, but that still means he's going to be on the naughty list. He is the son of Jack Frost. But Winky, he saved my life last year. He's been nice. Plus, I think he's going to propose to me soon. Holly, your father wants to talk to you. Yes, Dad? Is it true that Jared is thinking of proposing? Well, he's sort of been hinting at it. He needs to be 100% nice before Christmas. But Dad, Christmas is only a few days away. If he is not off the naughty list, then you can't be together. I used my ice powers to make that for you. I hope you like it. I love it, Jared. Thank you. Hey, watch this. No, Jared! <sighs> <laughs> you can't be using your ice powers like that. Why not? It's funny. Because you're still 20% naughty. And my dad said, if you don't get on the nice list by Christmas, we can't be together anymore. What? I have to get a 100% nice score? Yeah, I'm sorry. My dad is super strict. We have to be together. We're soulmates. Plus, I'm more nice than I am naughty. I think my dad's just afraid that you're going to turn into a supervillain just like your dad, Jack Frost. I won't. And I'm going to get a 100% score just for you. 
Well, if it isn't Santa's little daughter. Um, who are you? The Tooth Fairy's daughter, and I'm gonna be the one to marry Jared, not you. What? Nighty night. <laughs> Holly, wake up. Is this dental floss? Yep, and it's really strong, so you won't be getting free. Now to turn into you. Huh? Just watch me work my magic. Ta-da. Why are you doing this? I had a crush on Jared first, so I'm gonna make him misbehave so you two can never be together. He's gonna know it's not me. We'll see about that. I'll be back to check on you later. No, his score is going down. What is she having him do? No, his score went down again. It's getting really cold in here. He has to notice that it's not me. Jared, look, here comes another person. Make them slip and fall with your ice powers. No, this just feels mean now. Oh, please, Jared, we were just messing around. You sure your dad doesn't mind if I act naughty? Yes, I told you, he doesn't care anymore. Now, Jared, what do you say you and I be really naughty, and we can go to your place, and you can unwrap me like a little Christmas present? Nah, you're not Holly. What? Of course I am. My soulmate would never say- Is that a purple streak in your hair? No. Hey, are those wings? <sighs> Dang it, the magic is wearing off. Where is she? I'm not telling. Ow! You know you're gonna make your nice score go down. It's going down a lot more if you Okay, don't... wait. I'll show you where she is. Just follow me. Holly! Holly, come on, wake up! I don't like this, come on! Oh no, I think the blizzard killed her. No, how long has she been in here? Over five hours, and your ice powers aren't gonna be much help to her. She needs someone who could warm her up. I think I know just the guy. Ugh. Please, Mr. Heatmiser, you have to save my soulmate. Wait a minute, aren't you Jack Frost's son? Yes, and this is Santa's daughter. Can you please help her? She's been out in a blizzard for hours. Hmm, I'll see what I can do. But if you're really Jack Frost's son, you should leave. This place will kill you. Not until I know she's okay. There, yeah, that should have helped her. Oh, Holly. Jared? You're... you're okay. Wait, what's wrong? The heat... it's too hot. I, I can't get up. <laughs> please, Mr. Heatmiser, you have to help me. If I touch him, I'll only make him worse. It's okay, Holly. All that matters is that you're safe. Jared, you reached 100% on your niceness score. We can get married. You can't give up on me now. I'm sorry. I don't think he's going to make it. Holly? Jared? Do you need some help? Yes, please. Okay, let's get him up. Okay, we got him back in the snow. Now we just have to wait and hope he wakes up. You really love him, don't you? With all my heart. <sighs> Jared? Holly. You okay? Yeah, never better. <laughs> Jared, you were willing to sacrifice yourself to save my daughter. So, you have my full blessing to marry her. Thank you, Mr. Claus. That means a lot. Looks like you both are on the nice list. And do you take Jared Frost to be your husband? I do. Well then, I now pronounce you officially Mr. and Mrs. Frost. Jared, what did I tell you about making it snow inside the house? Ah, uh, babe, this isn't me. But if you're not using your powers, then... No way! Looks like Baby Crystal has taken up after me. Mom, look, I can get a teddy bear or a paintbrush. I think I'm gonna go with teddy bear. <gasps> no, pick the paintbrush! But... I said pick it. Okay. My paintbrush came in. Oh, thank goodness! There, that's for you! Now paint money. Money? Why money? Honey, just paint it. Okay... Okay, I'm done, but I don't understand why- Shh! Look! Your paintbrush is magic! No way. So you're telling me that everything I paint will come to life? Yes, the paintbrush only works for you. Well, I want to paint a puppy! Honey, no, don't be selfish. You need to think of others before yourself, and there's lots of things that I need. Okay, here's your gold crown. Oh, it's perfect. Mom, can you please make me some food? All this painting is making me really hungry. Why, of course. But don't draw anything while I'm cooking. I'm going to paint something she would never let me have. My own boyfriend. Honey, dinners. Let me see that. What did you paint? Nothing. I was just scribbling. Really? Then let me see it. No, wait. What is this? This is going in the garbage. Please, he wasn't done yet. He? Were you trying to draw a boyfriend? No. Give me that. No, this is my magic paintbrush. You can't just- Don't tell me what I can't do. I'm confiscating all of your paint stuff until tomorrow. Sorry, Mom, but I'm finishing this. The last thing I need is his eye color. I think this blue will look nice. He's done. 
Did you learn your lesson? Yeah, I did. Good. Here's your painting supplies back. Today, there is a lot I need you to paint for me. I finished your purple hair clips. Thank you, honey. Can I be done now? Hmm. I know you're not that tired. Well, it has been two hours, so okay, you rest. Mom, five more minutes. I'm not your mom. I'm your boyfriend. I'm your boyfriend. You look exactly like how I pictured you. Down to the hair color and everything. I can't believe this. I didn't even do the best job painting you, but you seem to have come out. Who is this? That's the delivery man. Delivery man? I didn't order anything. Excuse me. I'm her boyfriend. What? You disobeyed me. Mom, I have been painting so much stuff for you, and all I ask for is just one boyfriend. Please. Do you have my hair clips? Yeah, they're right here. What are you doing? Testing a theory. <sighs> if I rip his painting, he disappears. Look, I found it. Stop! <sighs> Mom, let go, please. You're hurting him. Oh, that's the point. No! It's okay. Hey, catch! Don't give that to her! What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Getting you out of my life. You can't do that- Where did she go? I, uh, painted her on a tropical island, but don't worry. I'll make sure she's well taken care of. Daddy, what is that? That's your likeness score. From now on, every time someone likes you, your score will go up. And when you reach 100%, you get to meet your soulmate. Wow. Snow, meet my new wife. Hi. Aw, hello. Daddy, I thought you said when people like me, my score will go up, not down. I don't think she likes me. Of course I do. There just must be a glitch. Ah, <sighs> the king's passing was so unexpected. Princess, I brought you a rose for your loss. Thank you. It's lovely. Where is my rose? It was a loss for me as well. He was my husband. I'm so sorry. I was just thinking of the princess, your majesty. Snow? Yes? I just noticed your percentage has been going up a lot lately. And father said that when I reach 100%, I'll be able to meet my soulmate. Hmm, no. That won't happen. Why? Because, dear, it's not meant to be for you. In fact, follow me. Let me show you something. Here, you need to see this. A book? It's a magic book. Now open it and see why you can't meet your soulmate. Read the words. Magic book in my hand. Who is the most liked royal in all the land? The queen is the most liked. Her score is 80%. You see, dear, as queen I have a reputation to uphold. It was very hard for me to get to 80%, and I can't have you surpass me. But why can't we both reach 100%? No, it's either me or no one. From now on, you will no longer be allowed to leave this castle. But I promised the village kids that I would bring them toys today. So your likeness score can go up? I don't think so. I'm not going to break my promise. Thank you. And one for you. Thank you, princess. Wow, that was very kind of you, princess. Are those your guards? There she is. Get her. You have left the castle without permission, princess. I'm sorry. The queen orders you back now. Uh, don't hold her like that. Wait. My queen, we have found her. You directly disobeyed me. I'm sorry, I- Silence. Look at your score. I didn't mean for that to happen. Your percentage is higher than mine. Shall I still take her into the woods, my queen? Yes, and make sure she doesn't return. I'll make it quick. No, please. Quiet. Don't make this harder than it needs to be. Think about my father. What would he want you to do? The king would be so disappointed in me. I can't kill you, princess. You must leave here and never come back. But- Run, now! <laughs> Hey, Shu, get out of here. Why are you out in these woods alone? It's a long story, but my blouse, it's stuck in the vines. Don't worry, my dear. I will set you free. Come with me. It's not safe here. Son, Dad, where were you? I just found this girl. Dad, this is the princess. Are you okay? Yes, but the queen, she's trying to have me killed. Why? I can't believe this is all because she's jealous of you. You can stay here with us as long as you need, Princess. Our cabin is safe. Thank you so much. Of course. Here's an extra pillow in case you need it tonight. Thank you. I don't think I caught your name. Right. How rude of me. My name is Zachary, Princess. Well, I appreciate your help, Zachary. <laughs> Good morning, my dear. My son and I are off to go hunting. We'll be gone for a few hours. While we're gone, do not open that door to anyone. I promise I won't. How did you get in here? 
Go, be free. I guess the likeness score works on animals too. Now that I'm at 100%, I get to meet my soulmate. That must be him. Now that I reached 100%, that has to be my soulmate. <gasps> Who are you? Oh, hello, my dear. I hope I didn't scare you. Actually, I'm not supposed to have strangers- But wait! I'm here to give you your soulmate. In that case, come inside. I brought this for you. An apple? Yes, you must be hungry. I don't like apples. But dear, I sense you're very lonely ever since your parents passed away. How do you know that? Because I'm magic. Isn't that how you feel? Yes, I... I've been so lonely. This is why I'm here, to help you, dear. One bite of this apple will make your soulmate appear. Do you promise? Cross my heart. You'll never be lonely again. Isn't it just... Delicious. <laughs> You're so gullible. <laughs> Princess, we're home. No. This is my fault, Dad. Son. It is. I should have never left her alone. You'll be a queen in heaven. Goodbye, Snow. Soulmate found. Zachary? Princess, you're... you're alive. True love's kiss. I, I can't believe it. I can't believe what the queen did. This has gone too far, my dear. You must take back your kingdom. You're right. Who is the most liked royal in all the land? Princess Snow is the most liked. That's impossible. She's dead. Think again. Stepmother, you're under arrest. Guards, take her away. Get off of me! I'll be taking this. No! That belongs to me! That crown belongs to Snow now. And I gotta say, it really suits her. I got my mark. Let me see. Okay, one, two, three. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what? It's blue. Blue? But what is- blue? You have to cover that up. <laughs> but what is it- Cover it up! Okay, okay, jeez. Do you think this is good enough? I can still kind of see it. Nah, you're good. No one's gonna notice. Okay. Oh my gosh, did you hear? Some people are getting blue marks. Blue? <laughs> Oof, so weird. Um, excuse me? Blue is royalty. Say what now? You didn't know that? Well, I kind of feel sorry for the blue mark people. Wait, why? Well, apparently the guy and the girl have some sort of arranged marriage. <laughs> that is not fair. Oop, it's time for the mark check. Better hope yours appears soon, because here they come. Uh, who's they? Who are those guys? Uh, those are the mark checkers. What? Didn't you read the pamphlet? <gasps> there was a pamphlet? Next, Michaela Brown. That's me. No, 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 wait! I can't let this happen. If they find out that I have a blue mark, they're going to force me into some sort of arranged marriage. And what if the guy's a jerk? I gotta get out of here. Crap, the freaking makeup's melting. Hey! Hey! What are you doing? Why are you out here? Hi, um, I was just going over there because they told me that I'm all clear to go. Who told you that? Um, that was Frank. Frank told me that. There's no one named Frank that works here. Damn it. No, I should have went with John. She's a blue. Get her. Hey! You really thought you could cover up your mark with makeup? Well, actually, it was my friend's idea, but... Quiet. That was a rhetorical question. Now, we're going to have to do something so you don't escape again. What is that thing? What is that thing? This is a microchip implant. Hmm? It's only gonna take a second. Oh no, I'm not good with needles, so... You'll be fine. Hold her arm down. No, please. <sighs> there you go, see? All done. You just injected me with that. Don't tell me she's gonna pass out. Oh, come on. It's time to get up. We need to get you ready for the prince. What? Yes, he's here, and you can't meet him looking like that. Says who? Says anyone with eyes. Now get up. Come on, let's go. All right, she's all done. Good. You know, for someone with a royal status, you guys sure do treat me like crap. Says the girl wearing a diamond necklace. Besides, you're not royalty just yet. Yeah, so if I were you, I would lose the little attitude, okay? Because your mark doesn't become effective till the prince falls in love with you. And what if he doesn't? Hmm, I don't know if I should tell you. We're gonna go get the prince, so you better stay put. <laughs> what? No, it's just, it's kind of funny. It's not like I can really get away, because, you know, there's a tracker in my wrist. I bet this guy is so stuck up and so conceited. I mean, how dare they, really, pair me with some 
super hot guy. Hi, <laughs> I'm Justine. You're not quite what I was expecting. Oh, well, um, you aren't exactly what I was expecting either, but you know, in a good way. <laughs> yeah, same. You know, this whole system's pretty messed up. I know. Tell me about it, right? I mean, do they put a tracker in your wrist, too? Yep, they did. But I have a plan to escape these guys and get both of us our freedom. Hmm, you do. Well, okay. I'm listening. Guys, I have fallen in love with her. Yeah, we're ready to get married. We just have a few minor requests about the wedding. Oh my gosh, of course, princess. Whatever you want. We thought you might say that. How did you get them to leave us alone? I told them I had a little surprise for you. But why would they need to leave us for... Oh, that kind of surprise. <laughs> it's time to take your track route, so hold still. Fine, but from a scale from 1 to 10, how bad is it going to... Are you okay? We thought we heard screaming. Yeah, I'm fine. Things were just getting a little rough in here. Oh, <laughs> well, your wedding is ready. Okay. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Wait, I, I have a confession to make. I'm, I'm pregnant. And he's not the father. What? I can't believe this. Well, it's too late. We're already married now, which makes me the princess, and what I say goes. And right now, I order all of you to leave us alone. We're here, guys. Everyone out. I order all of you to leave us alone. We're here, guys. Everyone out. I can't believe that worked. You did great. Now we just gotta blend in with the crowd. Okay, and then what do we do after that? Then we get the hell out of here, and we enjoy our freedom. Come on, let's go. What are you waiting for? Uh, Justine, I'm really sorry about this. What? Hands in the air now. You're under arrest. You really shouldn't have lied to us. I don't understand. They found out my plan, Justine. It was either me going to prison or you. Mm-hmm. And guess who he chose? I'm sorry. Get on your knees. We need to check you for weapons. Where are we going? We're taking you to stay with the other reject princesses. Other princesses? Yeah, you're not the only one the princess screwed over. Now come on, let's go. Girls look, fresh meat. <laughs> Keep walking. Please don't leave me in here, it's not fair. Why does the prince get to go free? He was the one who planned this whole thing. We made a deal with the prince, what can I say? Life isn't fair. Hello, let me tell you the truth about the prince. So you're telling me the prince has been doing this for years? Yes, they let him trick innocent girls like us, just for fun. But why would they do that? Because they want to stay in power. The whole blue mark is a lie. But why? Because they do not care about us. They are wicked. Why don't we give the new girl a haircut? No, please wait. What if I told you I could help you get revenge on the prince? We've already tried that. There's no way out of here. Well, how did you get those scissors? I found them on the floor when they took me out to use the restroom. They let you out to use the bathroom? Yeah, but they have a guard come with you. I barely snuck these in. I think I might have an idea on how to get us out of here, ladies. I think I might have an idea on how to get us out of here, ladies. You sure they don't know you have those scissors? Duh, otherwise they'd try and take them away. Well then, which one of you guys is the most violent? Definitely Greta. I have lots of pent-up anger for the prince. Greta, I think it's time you release that anger. I have to use the bathroom. Oh, I need to go too. No, one person at a time. Oh, but please, I really need to go. Get back. I said what? That was for locking me in this hellhole. Oh, shit. We gotta get out of here now. We made it. We're free. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Well, speak of the devil. Greta, do you still have those scissors? I have them right here. Good. You know what to do. What are you talking about? I would start running if I were you. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Ladies, let's get him. 